Good morning from Scotland! That's right guys, we have officially made it to our 12th country. One year on the road and we have been grateful to call many incredible places home for the night. But we have been waiting for the perfect time to come to Scotland. We wanted to come here during the low season when it wasn't going to be as busy. But right now it still feels like winter here and we're not sure if we've made a mistake. It's absolutely disgusting. It's Welcome to Scotland. But look at our view. You are not going to believe this. We might have to cancel this NC500 vlog. <laughs> we have arrived. We have made it up here after some long, long travel days. It was. We're here. I can't believe how far north we have driven. It's, I know. It's like, Scotland's huge. It's absolutely unbelievable. We're just parked right outside the Cairngorms National Park. And I just read online that it's like double the size of the Lake District, just that one national park. And we thought the Lake, Lake District was big, didn't we? <sighs> I'm worried we ain't got enough time to explore. We have not days. got enough time. This will be something we'll do again, again, and again. But I'm excited for our first time. Mm. Head on up, do the NC500. But today, our first stop is Avimore. You can tell we're getting more and more north now because it's literally like a winter wonderland. The snow capped mountains are absolutely gorgeous we might even do a bit of skiing whilst we're here we're not sure are we no, we're, not sure yet. we're gonna go and inquire because chris is quite keen to ski again i wouldn't mind getting back on the skis to kind of boost my confidence again we were just doing an afternoon we need to kind of go and scope it out and see if it's going to be possible leaving fletcher in the van if he's going to be safe that kind of thing um but first things first team today the top priority is to empty our toilet it is so far, I don't think it's ever been this far. Oh. A little bit nerve wracking going for our last <laughs> wee in it this morning. So let's go and get that done. Fill up with water and some typical van life duties. our toilet all emptied and we managed to fill up with some water there's a really cool little area where you can dump your wastewater your toilet waste and fill it with water for five pounds there was a little honesty box so we put some money in there and we also got rid of our recycling yes they had recycling bins as well which has been really hard to find especially yeah. like plastic bottles and stuff and we always collect all of our recycling and just hold on to it until we can get rid of it so it feels great to be all sorted now doesn't all it empty, yeah it's like, a, it's like a refresh for that. A real refresh. And so now we're going to continue on to Avermore. I was just speaking to my mum, telling her that we're meant to be getting more snow tonight. And she was like, please make sure you have enough gas and food in case you're snowed in. And it made me think, whilst we're here in Scotland, in the Highlands, and it's snowing, let's make sure we're always stocked up on food. we got plenty of gas, but thanks mum. We'll go and get ourselves plenty of food now. Guys, we have made it to Avimore. From what we have seen driving through, it looks a nice little quaint, like towny village sort of thing. There's a few little shops, Tesco and Audi and things like that. We've just pulled into the Tesco car park, but Fletcher was absolutely dying to get out. So I've just taken him on this little green bit here for a minute. Let him do his business or just let him have a bit of a roam around. Sam is currently in a souvenir shop getting some little bits. You know what she's like. She loves to fill that wall up. So yeah, we're not sure what we're gonna do. If we're just gonna, I know we're definitely gonna go get some shopping and then I don't know if we're gonna stay around here, have a look around or move on a little bit more or actually head up to the ski slopes, which I am excited for. Here she comes, what did I tell you guys? I'm sure she'd get some in. So I just saw it and had to get it. It's the cutest Highland cow I've ever seen. To go on our wall. That's cool. <laughs> Isn't it cute? That is actually really cool. He's going to go surrounded by all the places we go in Scotland. Do you like it? Love it. Oh my God, guys. We have just arrived at the top of the Cairngorms mountain. The ski resort is right there. And we're managing to park here for free. Overnight, we think it's free. We need to check. But look at our view. I don't think I've ever had such a great view in Van Dyke. It is so cold up here, there's snow everywhere, Fletcher oh. is loving the snow. So I think you're going to go up, aren't you, babe, and find out a little bit more yeah. about ski hire and stuff because the car park is right here, right next to the ski resort, so we can keep coming back to on Fletch, which makes me feel good. So yeah, maybe we'll go and ski tomorrow. 
Whilst well, Chris goes to find out a little bit about the ski hire, my task is to put away all of the shopping. I think it's safe to say we're not going to be running out of food anytime soon. We might have gone a little bit crazy. I'm starving. It's almost three o'clock and we haven't eaten lunch yet. We well, haven't even actually ate anything today at all. Did you enjoy being out in the snow? Hey, look, it's all in your hair, isn't it? All stuck in your hair. What a view! The snowy mountains. Oh my God, babe. It is literally like the dream of all dreams, guys. There's such a nice practice run. Do you know we have that travelator sort of thing? Yeah. We have one of them that goes all the way up the side and you can go, once you've completed that one level, you can take it on the next level up and it's just a really long, like easy slope then Amazing. to get your practice down. It is wicked, guys. So the higher of the skis is £32 for skis, boots, poles and hat. And a helmet. helmet. And helmet, yeah, all in. Oh, that's good. Yeah, £32 each. And then your day pass is 44 I think it said. Yeah. But he said they open at 8.45, so yeah. go up there, get yourself kitted out. Yeah. And then, yeah, and literally the slope, baby slope, is there. You see the people go up on that travelator there? Oh, yeah. Literally, it's there. So for Fletcher, we're like not even too far away. We're so I'll close to him. him. I'll well, be able to see him. I'll be able to see him, won't I? Oh, amazing. We're just taking for a long like, trek in the morning. Yeah. That's so good. So we you can, can have a whole day here, doing like, it, I can really? see us being here for a week. <laughs> if they get the snow this predictive night, guys, you, we might have to cancel this NC500 vlog <laughs> and it'll just be Chris's skiing vlog for a week because oh, I could stay here all week if the snow stays. That's wicked. So good. You happy? So happy. Should to we be back a, skiing. Should we have a coffee and some lunch? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, thanks, babe. Thanks. What do you think? I think it looks amazing. It made me one, yeah? No, because you said you want to make yours. Oh. Hi. All right, see how it is. Looks good though. Look at that. There's a plate full of colour new, colourful goodness. And a vegan coleslaw in the middle. Mm -mm. This, guys, this is my version. Not so pretty. A little bit of vegan salad cream, which they've just released. And it tastes no different to the normal one. It is awesome. But yeah, yours was nice and picturesque, babe. Mine's just uh, get in my belly now because I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay team, we're about to go to bed here <laughs> in this park up and the wind has ramped up. This van is shaking. I've already said to Chris, can we please try and move the van because it's rocking so much it's making me feel seasick. But he seems to think that we're already parked with our nose right into the wind, which is the way you should park. So yeah, hopefully we're still here in the morning. <laughs> Not sure if we're gonna have much snow. Fingers crossed we get a good night's sleep. Guys, you are not gonna believe this. We have a slight little drip now coming through our fan. Guys, it's like it's raining in here. We're trying to watch a film and I just keep seeing these drips. Fletcher don't care, look at him. Ah, oh, it's late, it's summer fix, the wind is still howling. I believe it is just condensation because it's lovely and warm in the bus. We've had the heating on and obviously it's so minus outside. I assume this is like a drip of condensation or whatever, but it's dripping on the bed. So I need to get a tea towel and stick it up there and just make a makeshift little guard for it. Morning guys. So, little bit of an update. We are fully dressed in our skiing gear. In fact, I've just borrowed Chris's skiing <laughs> jacket to the toilet. But I've got my ski trousers on, I've got my thermals. We got ready to get up early and have a full day on the slope. However, that wind last night has basically blown all the snow. There's been so much drifting on the mountains up there that there's so many runs that are shut today. And when Chris went to go and check, they said, didn't they, that yeah. you have to be careful in places because it's a bit rocky. Really bare as well. Yeah, and quite bare. And we were just like, do you know what? As much as we would have loved to go today, as you can see, we're all ready to go. It was going to cost us 160 quid for the day to hire the gear and the passes, which we wouldn't mind if we could really make the most of it. But... I just, yeah, someone's telling us nah. to sack it off. We didn't come up to Scotland in our road trip and the NC500 to ski. It was just going to be a bonus. We got a bit excited to stay. So we're just going to have a quick cup of tea and then we're going to go off exploring. 
Are you happy with that, babes? I am. I'm yeah? happy with that, yeah. And, by the way, that makeshift little thing that Chris made last night to stop those drips worked. And I actually felt really warm in the van because we put the heating on and it was all good, wasn't it? It was, it was amazing. Mm. I think someone's happy that we haven't gone anywhere today and we're just relaxing. Absolutely, he's proper chin strapped, didn't you, buddy? You comfy. I don't think we're missing much, are we? Absolutely not. The rain has now come in proper. It is like proper like raining. It's not even like sleet. It's proper rain. So I do not regret the decision at all. I'm still in my ski wear because it's really warm and toasty. And it's freezing at the top of this hill. I'm still in my ski gear too. And I'm in a blanket. Fletcher's lying on me. We've literally not moved for like the past couple of hours. It's been really nice just to chill. The rain is not going anywhere. And it's quite funny because we're quite high up on the mountain and when you look low into the valley, you can't see anything because it's just thick clouds. So I have a feeling that the weather down there is even worse. So we're just gonna stick around up here for a bit and then we're gonna try and go out for some fresh air and, some, and a bit of a nice walk later on. But Fletcher does not look like he wants to move right now. So I guess we'll stay. You got here then, babe? Ooh, so I just went to use the facilities, popped into the little cafe, and I found some vegan Biscoff Millionaire Shortbread. If you guys know me, this is my absolute dream. I used to love the Costa one, but obviously that's not vegan. This one is Biscoff and vegan, so I am so excited to try it. Have I have got two, because I got you one. Have a bite. I'm going back for more. <laughs> okay. Honestly, have a bite. That's like insane. That's unbelievably nice, isn't it? That's really good. That is incredible. I think what they've done is they've used Biscoff for the um, caramel. Yeah. Hmm. Dream come true? Mmm. Fletcher's waiting for his bit. He's like, that smells so good. We can have some shortbread. If you come here, summer or winter, whenever you come, mountain biking, hiking, skiing, go and get some of this. This stuff is unreal. What's the slopes looking like? Not very good now. We made the right decision. The baby slope right at the bottom. They're having to go over that again, like with more snow and stuff like that, so it's really not looking good. All the ice, all the snow on the floor is sort of melting because it's like five degrees here now. Mm. And it's only going to get warmer, unfortunately, so... I know, you. I'm going to give you some more. <laughs> Once Chris has finished eating that, we're going to go and head down to, I think there's a lock, literally five minutes down the road. We drove past it yesterday and fingers crossed it stays dry for us. We'll go and have a nice little walk around there. But then I think we're going to be done with the Cairngorms. I think we'll then head up to the NC500. The Cairngorms National Park is massive and I think there's so much more that we want to see. But we also are very excited to get up to the Highlands, so let's go. We are at Loch Morlick. The rain has stopped, it's starting to look a little bit dry today, which is great. I think we're just going to have a little stroll around, aren't we? Yeah. We're not letting Fletcher off the lead just yet because there's loads of ducks around. <laughs> Literally loads. They're all coming up to say hello as well. They're not scared. Look at these lot coming over there. Hello, mate. Be on the wheel again. Feels good. It's We're... been a while, Gorge. I know. And the sun's come out now, guys. It's really starting to clear up. It looks beautiful. I think we're just gonna start making our way now up to Inverness and start the NC500. Let's do it. We're a bit eager, so let's get up there. I think I've found a pretty sick park up. Look at this. Look at the space we've got bit of snow, woods, 
And there's Olive. I literally walked about a mile up into this woods and I've ran all the way back because it is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So I've got Sam to come with me this time. Because yeah, just to take it all in. It's like a proper magical woodland with the sun coming through. Ah, oh, it's just insane. Do you know what guys? I think he was just a bit scared because this woods does seem quite eerie, doesn't it? It does, but no, I actually walked miles. He was scared. I was having a nice peaceful five minutes. He's like, do you want to come? I was like, nah, do you know what? I've already been for a little walk today. I'm happy just to chill. It was quite cold. So I was wrapped up in a blanket, almost falling asleep. He came back, he was like, nah, you're coming. Exactly. And look at this. That sun coming through. There's still plenty of snow around on the floor and that but it is definitely getting warmer now yesterday it was like minus one minus two today we're up to like six or seven degrees so that is good we could do with it warming up a little bit because we've had enough of the cold um, i'm not saying it's going to be glorious and really nice and like spring and like 12 degrees but as long as it's above freezing i'll be happy for a while and i won't have to put so many layers on i've still got my coat on t-shirt thermals and all that I look forward to not having to wear me thermals and to not have the heating on all the time. This one wants the heating on 24-7. Yes, so I definitely feel the cold me. What does he say you are? A ying. She's a ying and I'm a yang apparently. <laughs> so that's what we're going with, but is yeah, it? Yeah, it's been like a good five months now of solid like winter adventures in the snow. And don't get yeah. me wrong, we love it. We really, really do because you can get cozy and fetch love the snow, but I am ready for some sunshine and warmth now. Yeah, a bit I of warmth would be nice. I need some colour in my skin. Yeah, that would be nice. Look at this gorgeous view that we've come to. You can see that like low cloud coming in wow what a spot you can literally see the whole side of the east coast look at that mist guys that is coming in thick and fast we gotta get out of here it's like those horror films you hear of a big mist comes in and the couple are stranded in the woods oh my god and they're trying to get out and then someone comes and gets them Am I scaring you? No. <laughs> Not funny though. Not funny. I told you there was a reason he came and got me. Why is that? You're a bit scared. I wasn't scared. No, I'm really grateful you came and got me, babe. Good. It's been beautiful. Until the big scary mist comes in. <laughs> Whoa. Stop. You guys don't realise how much I have to cut out of our videos because Chris loves to talk to you <laughs> and likes to update you at every point. So if you like his updates, let me know and I won't cut them out so much. Guys, I think I like to take you along with us on the journey, whatever it is we do. I know I've got you guys there with us, backing us, you're supporting us. You're there for the moral support that we need, especially when the big scary mist comes in. No, I appreciate you guys though. I love taking you with me. The mist. Oh wow. It's coming in both ways now. It's just gonna like us up. It's gonna what? <laughs> if you can see behind me, there is all this low cloud coming right now. And it's literally just created a circle all the way around us and Olive. It's so magical. Like you look all the way around at our circumference. It's just this low cloud, apart from right here. This is the place to be. This is it. This is the place to be. You'll be pleased to know we made it back to Olive nice and safely. There she is. Time for a cup of tea. Cup of cha. The next day, we got ourselves up to complete this woodland walk all the way up the mountain to reach the Firish Monument, a historical landmark in Scotland with some of the best views of the coast. So 
tell you what, that was a hard climb. That's one of the best views I've ever seen in my life. Have you seen that? Whoa! We can see absolutely loads of nothing. What a day to come and hike. Guys, the camera is in the bag right now because it's really wet and drizzly. But we have walked for about an hour uphill non-stop. We're not even there yet, but what have you? At least it's flattened out a little bit. On a good day, that would be a great view. I'm sure you'd probably even see Inverness from here. <laughs> but on a day like today, I can only just see Sam and her bright yellow. I'm the sunshine we all need right now. That's it. This Firish monument was built in 1782 by the orders of a native lord of the area. It's a popular spot to hike to as it offers gorgeous views where you can see for miles. Look at the view through the arches! Apart from that fine ass right there, you can't see nothing! It's pretty cool though. Right, that was cool, we've seen it, no view. Can't walk back. Why is this cafe you told me about? What cafe? You said there was a cafe? Yeah, I need to persuade you somehow to come to the top. It's not actually a cafe, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm dying for a drink. Do you reckon, Fletcher? Do you like the view here? You look rather wet. <coughs> Don't you? <coughs> Should we go back now? Yeah, let's go back. Still recording on the phone because it is so wet up here. It is absolutely disgusting. It's like that horrible rain that just gets you soaking. Yeah. Not very nice. And we're just starting our descent down now. I did kind of think that when we got up here, the, the clouds would blow away and we'd, <laughs> we'd see that lovely view. We are optimists, <laughs> as you can tell. But it was quite beautiful seeing it all wrapped around in the clouds. Yeah, it was yeah. quite eerie, wasn't it? It was, yeah. And we were the only ones up there, which is quite cool. Yeah. But yeah, it's about an hour back to the van now. So a nice wet walk back and a nice drink as needed. So we'll pick you guys up with a cup of coffee in a minute. One, two, three. <sighs> ah. Warm and cozy with a nice cup of coffee. Ready to enjoy a nice quiet night. I am so pleased to be back in the warm. Please don't judge, we're still using our Christmas cups, by the way, guys. <laughs> we're a bit low on options in the van. Yeah, Sam keeps, yeah. seems to be breaking all the mugs. Yes, I do. Not great. But we're just going to settle down now, have some nice warm food, and watch a film, and we'll pick you guys up in the morning. Guys, look where we have woken up this morning. What a spot, guys! This is just absolutely beautiful. This is what we call like an idyllic park up here. Yeah! Isn't it? The park ups just keep getting better and better here. Yeah. And we are just about to officially get in to the NC500. Yeah. We've started seeing the signs for the NC500 now, so we know we are on the right road. But that is it for this week's video, guys. We've had a little bit of turmoil weather. We have, we? it's not been the best. No, but welcome to Scotland. <laughs> We're gonna have to get used to this, but we are absolutely loving it. It's so beautiful. Oh, it is, it's stunning. It's so green and picturesque. Mm -hmm. Excited to see what it has in store for us, for sure. I know, and tune in next week where we're gonna have so much good weather. <laughs> yep. And we're gonna show you so many beautiful spots as we find out what it's like to explore the NC500. See you then. See ya.